it's 8 a.m. And our judge is Sherry B. Smith. Sherry is, and her husband, or Neil, live in Glenford, Ohio. Sherry is an independent dairy nutrition consultant with Cows Come First Consulting Group and the Ohio 4-H Dairy Program Specialist, where she enjoys coaching the Ohio State 4-H Dairy Judging Teams. Sherry is a proud alumna of the Ohio State University and was a member of the dairy judging team. She and Neil own brown Swiss and Jersey cattle and raise heifers at home. She has shown cattle most of her life and has had a number of brown Swiss All-American nominations. Sherry has judged across the United States and was the associate judge for the Brown Swiss Show at the World Dairy Expo in 2014, as well as judging both junior and open Brown Swiss Shows at the North American International Livestock Exposition. Welcome, Sherry, back to our show ring. You bring that first class in, we're ready to begin.
Uh, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's good to be here to judge the junior show, uh, junior showmanship here. Uh, great, great glass. Uh, I had to select 10, and from that 10, I had to select five, so these are my final five. Uh, I'm going to start with the young lady here. She just had a steady pace all the way around the ring, had that calf set up correctly when she needed to, and uh, gave adequate space between her and the next young man. The young man in second, uh, just a little fast paced around the ring, just need a little more adequate space between him and the heifer in front of him and when they're lined up side by side, but he did a great job. Second over third, uh, just kept his heifer more squarely set up than the young lady in third. The young lady in third just tends to get those rear legs on the heifer stretched out a little too far. And third over fourth, just as a little bit of the same, she just kept me. When I go down the front end, you can see down through the front end of her effort, and the young lady in fourth just needs to step away a little more. And then fourth over fifth, just a little quicker on getting her effort set up, uh, just a little more alert and knew where I was at all times. But great class of junior showmen. Congratulations. Placings in junior showmanship in the All-American Jersey Junior Show. Fifth place is Cameron Cashbergen. Fourth, Katie Reby. Third, Tanny Reby. Second, Evan Westerfield. And first, Lauren Albright. Congratulations. The Junior Showmanship Award is the Fred Luxinger Memorial Trophy. And that's sponsored by the family of Fred Luxinger, Syracuse, New York for the Junior Division Showmanship winner. The Reby and Anderson families of Coverland, Wisconsin are sponsoring the class awards in this year in memory of Miss Emma Anderson, winner of the 2018 Junior Showmanship class. Our North American Dairy Show crew for 2022 consists of Superintendent Dan Grigson, retired UK agriculture agent from Stanford, Kentucky, Assistant Superintendent Roger Sparrow, retired UK Extension District Director from Stamping Ground, Kentucky, Assistant Superintendent for Milk Sampling is Linda McClanahan, UK agriculture agent for Mercer County, and Testing Booth Coordinator Chris Schalk, UK ag agent for Barron County. Our All American Jersey Junior Show. Uh, sit, uh, help. Our All-American junior, junior Show officials today are in the makeup ring, show superintendent Kristen Paul and Randall Lowe. At ultrasound is Seth Iselson. Ring persons are Ron Moser and Sidney Endress. Clerks at the front desk are Philip Cleary and Lori King. Covering the show, Tracy Hoining, Danielle Brown, Haley Frazier, Blake Grand. Granzow and Lindsay Lamore and Kim Billman. Recording placings is Scott Holcomb. Our makeup ring person for the Nail uh, North American staff is Wayne Kirby, UK Ag agent in Knotts County, and Jennifer Hickerson, Kentucky Dairy Development Council. Over on our winter National Milk and Shorthorns Junior Show, clerk is Stuart Gritton, retired Kentucky Department of Agriculture. Ring person is Jay Stone, UK Ag Agent, Hopkins County, and Kristen Herbst, USDA Farm Service Agency. Makeup ring persons are Eunice Shalapi, retired KDA, and David Roberts, Kentucky Dairy Development Council. In charge of ribbons is Mike Phillips, retired UK Ag Agent.
Would Josh and Jenny Gordon and family come to the trophy table, please? Luxinger family, Donna Havermill, Cindy Howman, and Josh and Jenny Gordon and family, please come to the trophy table. Milky Horn winner Heifer Cave should be in the makeup ring. Junior Milking Shorthorn Exhibitors, we need these entries to the makeup ring. Please, entries 35, 40, 42, 45, and 46 to the makeup ring, please.
Placing first in the Junior Milking Shorthorn Show in the Spring Heifer Calf Class is entry number 31, Monisha Creek, Odessa, exhibited or leased by Ashley Brandell and owned by Minna Smith of Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Second in the class is Monisha Creek, Hey, It's Ma, exhibited by Minna Schmidt of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. A nice big class of spring calves to start the Milking Shorthorn Junior Show off with this morning, and I think they sort out pretty handily for me this way. Uh, the first heifer is a large heifer to start with, not necessarily necessarily the reason why she's at the top of the class. It's more the way she tracks out on her rear legs that gets her over the next pair of heifers, particularly the next heifer out here. Because uh, originally when they first came in the ring, this second heifer is the one that really caught my attention. This heifer is extremely balanced really hard on top and very angular all the way through and I would give her a little bit of advantage even over the first calf today on cleanliness. Just a freckle bit cleaner but not a huge advantage there. Uh, but she does not track quite as squarely when you get behind her on her rear legs. Second and third are really close placing in the class. Uh, the, the second heifer just a bit more springer rib, just a, uh, a bit more uh, I like the way the neck blends into the shoulder a little bit nicer, but an extremely long and attractive calf here in third that does handle her rear legs a little bit wider. Um, this third heifer over the fourth heifer, just a cleaner, longer heifer all the way through. This fourth heifer is a really correctly made heifer. I love the rump on the fourth heifer, uh, but she's just not quite as clean cut as the heifers that are above her today. Fourth over fifth, just a nicer tail setting rump, a little bit more balance all the way through. Good class of heifers all the way down. Placings in class 15, spring heifer calves in the junior milking shorthorn show. Third in the class is entry number 27, exhibited by Milot Addison of Smithburg, Maryland. Placing fourth was number 28 and was exhibited by Cheyenne Anders of Danville, Ohio. Fifth in the class was entry 24 and was exhibited or leased by Caitlin Lamb of Elkhart, Indiana. Sixth in the class, entry number 30, exhibited by Madison McKenzie and Mason Gudo of Sullivan, Wisconsin. Placing seventh, entry number 22, exhibited by Dixie and Darren Hensley of Daleville, Indiana. Eighth in the class was entry number 26 and was exhibited by Dixie and Darren Hensley 
and Bella Murphy of Daleville, Indiana. Ninth place was number 23 and was exhibited by Savannah Simrad of Cushing, Oklahoma. Tenth in the class, entry number 29, exhibited by Dixie Hensley, Bella Murphy, and Golden Wright of Daleville, Indiana. Congratulations. Well, good morning. What an outstanding group of uh, showmen out here in the intermediate division, but real close placing here at the top of the class. The young man here with this heifer just graced around the ring so smooth with this heifer that gives him the slight advantage over the young lady coming out here in second. Uh, second over the third, just handle a little more nicely around the ring than the heifer coming out here in third. Third over fourth, maybe set her heifer up a little bit quicker, uh, just a little bit nicer out on the move than the young lady out here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, pulled the throat a little bit more, just had a little more control of the heifer. Uh, really outstanding group of kids out here in this division. Placings in the Intermediate Showmanship in the All-American Junior Jersey Show. Fifth place is Ava Pruskowski. Fourth, Rhea Miller. Third, Allison uh, Francis. Second, Lillian Finke. And the first place is Mason Zimba. Congratulations. Donna Havermail and Cindy Howman sponsor the Becky Boltman Memorial Award for the Intermediate Division Showmanship winner. Milking Shorthorn Fall Heifer Caves. Milking Shorthorn Fall Heifer Caves should be in the makeup ring.
placings in the winter heifer calf class in the milking shorthorn junior show is first is entry number 34 lazy m lars game time exp exhibited by randy and matthew winch of fenimore wisconsin and second in the class is entry number 43 that's heavenly justice zz top e exhibited by paulson sutton dormant sage reed and mckenna of rockford illinois Really nice class of winter calves for the Shorthorn Junior Show. This first heifer just has loads of eye appeal. This heifer definitely commands your attention. I love the style. She's got such a lovely head and neck on her, and she just never misses a beat for this young man. It is that style and her just total completeness and femininity that gets her over this really solid heifer here in second. The red heifer in second is a larger made heifer and very correct in her own right, but just not quite as stylish up through that head and neck, just not quite as eye commanding when it comes to the overall package as a heifer that's winning the class. Second over third, it just appeals from a distance to have a little bit cleaner thigh look to her, maybe just a little more stretch and openness to that midsection today. Uh, this heifer in third, kind of grabs you a little bit more closer up. I like her a little bit more when I see it, when I get on top of her than maybe when I'm at a distance. Um, but I think she fits handily there with that second heifer. This fourth heifer is the heifer that's kind of tough to place in the class because to me, she's a heifer that's made an awful lot like the heifer that I won the class with. Um, I really love the front end and the, uh, the total complete package of that heifer. But when you get her in line, she gets swallowed up just a little bit on size and scale. Uh, fourth over fifth, though, she does uh, uh, have a little nicer rear leg set to her. And also, Heifer, when you get over top of her, is quite a lot wedgier and her shoulder a lot fuller through her crops today. But a real nice class of Heifers all the way down. Jersey Spring Heifer Calves to the makeup ring, please. Jersey Spring Heifer Calves to the makeup ring. Placing third in the winter heifer calf class in the junior milk and shorthorn show is entry number 35. That's exhibited by B. Richard and Davis Young of Monroe, Wisconsin. Fourth in the class is entry number 46, exhibited by Sam Rhodes of Wapakoneta, Ohio. Fifth place, entry number 39, exhibited by James Grisafi of Montrose, Pennsylvania. Sixth in the class is entry number 44 and is exhibited by Charlie and Will Hackman of Bencher family in Brownstown, Indiana. Seventh in the class is entry number 38, exhibited by Brandon Potter of Danville, Kentucky. Eighth in the class is entry number 40 and is exhibited by Tristan and Willa Upchurch of Hebron, Illinois. Ninth place, entry 41, exhibited by Kenzie Emery of Sullivan, Wisconsin. Placing 10th is entry number 42 and is exhibited by Bella Kelly of Deerfield, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Horn Summer Junior Ealing should be in the makeup ring.
Well, I think we're still on time. First of all, let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause as they exit the ring. I still think showmanship is a big part of our, our business. I think these young exhibitors, um, you know, they do this because, yeah, they want to win and they want to compete, but I hope when you take the time and you talk to each of them that there's at least one little takeaway that they can have from showmanship, and I think it's an obligation as a showmanship judge to take that little bit of time and talk to them because otherwise they don't know and how do they learn. So for me, when I judge showmanship, I try to have each kid, if I can take at least 30 seconds to a minute and give them at least one tip, I think that's an important part of when we judge showmanship. But these top five ladies, and it happened to be ladies today, and I give them kudos, but to me, if I were to pick out uh, exhibitors that are gonna show budge on cattle today, it'd be these top five ladies. And all for different reasons, but my winner today to me is the whole package. She's an intense showmanship, she does intense inner showmanship. The heifer got a little bit unruly, she handled it well, she walked her out of it, she kept showing the heifer, she's got a really nice heifer to show and she knows it, she's confident in her walk. Those two are peas and carrots, that heifer shows herself off and you can tell this, this young lady uh, had has worked with this heifer. The heifer's clean, she has her feet sprayed, top line's done perfectly, ears are clean. All those little details to me are what separate really good senior showmen. And she places over the young lady here in second. I think just a slight bit more intensity here in the lady in second. I think she has also done a very, very well, good job. She shows that heifer off well. The heifer can put that tail head up from time to time. A few small things with the heifer, but certainly uh, excellent for uh, second place today. Second over third, again, this young lady in third gives you the death stare when you're her judge. She, uh, she wants to win. I love that intensity. I'm the same way when I show. But just a few th small things that we talked about, getting that tail head set down, a um, little bit longer on the, on the halter in terms of the length right on the nose, but certainly does a nice job showing. The lady in fourth, same thing. When we got him into line side by side here at the end, I don't want to see her rubbing her neck. I want to see her showing the heifer. I want her to see that she wants to win this class today. But as far as the showmanship overall, she did a great job. And the young lady in fifth, just the heifer was maybe just a tiny bit unruly. We've all been there, done that, but certainly did a nice job exhibiting the heifer, maybe just pulling a little bit more throat, uh, maybe just watching that tail head. Congratulations. Placing fifth in the senior showmanship division of the All-American Jersey Junior Show, fifth place is Shelby Raider. Fourth, Carissa Mercer. Third, Clancy Cron. Second, Brooke Hammond. And first place is Caitlin Poitras. Congratulations. Siemens, the senior showmanship is sponsored by Josh and Jenny Gordon and family of Warsaw, Indiana. They present the Gordon Farms Trophy for the senior division showmanship winner. Second through fifth places is the intermediate and senior divisions are brought to you by PBS Animal Health and American Jersey Cattle Association.
Ladies and gentlemen, the All-American Junior Jersey Show is the largest single breed dairy cattle show for youth held in the world. This is the 70th time that it has been produced by the American Jersey Cattle Association of Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and it is the 46th year that it has been staged here at the North American International Livestock Exposition. The All-American Junior Jersey Show is a championship show. The first place animal in each class is designated by the American Jersey Cattle Association as the Junior All-American of its age group for 2022. The second place animal earns reserve Junior All-American recognition. Custom designed neck sashes will be presented to the junior owners of these animals during today's show. This year there are 287 Jersey cows and heifers checked in for the show which when added to the previous 45 years, makes 10,186 registered jerseys shown by Jersey youth in Freedom Hall. Our judge today is Brandon Ferry of Hilbert, Wisconsin. Brandon, his wife Cheyenne, and their four children, Briley, Riker, Corbin, and Ledger, own and operate Furcrest Farms. They currently milk 90 registered Holsteins and Jerseys with a BAA of 112.8. Brandon and his family enjoyed ex exhibiting cattle at various shows throughout the year, earning them premier breeder and premier exhibitor banners at the Wisconsin District 10 Holstein Show. They have also achieved All-American and Junior All-American nominations in multiple breeds, including Brown Swiss, Holstein, Jersey, and milking shorthorn. Brandon also travels and works for many sales around the U.S. Along with exhibiting their own cattle, Brandon also manages large tie-in groups for several different breeders and exhibitors at various shows throughout the U.S. He's prepared several cattle that have achieved champion and junior champion honors at shows such as the World Dairy Expo, North American International Livestock Exposition, along with several other state and national shows. Over the past few years, Brandon has had the privilege to judge several shows throughout the United States and South America. Among these, he was honored to serve as the associate judge at the National Jersey Jug in Louisville, the, Mid -East, the Midwest Red and White Show, the Wisconsin State Jersey Show, as well as the National Jersey Show in Bogota, Colombia. He served as both the associate and official judge for the International Junior Holstein Show at World Dairy Expo. Madison Fisher is serving as associate judge today. He resides at Frostburg, Maryland, where he works as the herd manager for Gladhart Farms, as well as a part-time cattle fitter, which he's done since graduating from the farm and industry short course at the University of Wisconsin. Madison ap operates under the prefix of Big Guns with his father, and together they have bred and sold many class winners and champions at World Dairy Expo, North American International Livestock Exposition, and the Pennsylvania All-American Dairy Show. A cow he bred, Big Guns Jamaica Vanilla EX95, helped, the lead, helped lead Big Guns to being named premier breeder of the Jersey Heifer Show at the North American International Livestock Exposition in 2019 and 2020. Please give a round warm of applause and welcome our judges here today. Placing first in the Paul Heifer calf class in the Junior Milking Shorthorn Show is entry number 47. That's Roven Blaine Elise Emerald, exhibited by Ferry and Upchurch of Hebron, Illinois. Second in the class is entry 56, Halpin's Petron Elena, exhibited by Owen Halpin of Halpin Farms, Buckingham, Illinois. A really nice pair of heifers here at the top of the fall calf class for the Shorthorns Junior Show. This first heifer, uh, you like her really, really well. You get on top of her, she's got a beautiful front end and a really pretty three-quarter angle look to her. Uh, blends an awful uh, lot to 
love the front end and the way she, the cleanliness of neck and just the style that she has up through there. And then when you find out that she's a November 14th heifer, it kind of makes it a little simpler to get her up there because she does give up a little bit of size and scale to the fuller age heifer here in second. Uh, but I do like the way she tracks on her rear legs. I like the blending up that she has up through the front end, just a smidge better than the heifer coming out in second. But the heifer in second fits right there with that same sort of pattern. Has a lot of advantage when you get uh, between her and this roan heifer in third and the way she tracks on her rear legs. She's much more centrally placed in her thurls today and gives you a little bit more balanced look back through her rear section. The third heifer over the fourth heifer, again, just a heifer that's got a little bit more front end, a little more width and spring to her rib. I think the third and fourth heifers are pretty close out here in class. There's just some things that you like about, uh, obviously, the fourth heifer in the correctness back through her uh, central place thurls compared to the heifer in third, but maybe just not quite as much heifer up there uh, through her, her barrel and midsection body capacity. Nice group of heifers when you get down there, there's kind of a break between fourth and fifth heifers on bone quality and just femininity, uh, but a really nice, uh, well-grown group of heifers all the way down. Placing third in the Paul Heifer Calf Class in the Junior Milking Shorthorn Show is entry number 53. It's exhibited by Sarah Hill of Bristol, Vermont. Placing fourth is entry 55, exhibited uh, by Colt or Owen Halpin of Buckingham, Illinois. Placing fifth is entry number 48, exhibited by Allie and Casey Cochran of Como, Texas. Sixth in the class is entry number 15, is exhibited by Goudeau, uh, Madison May of Eastbrook, Sullivan, Wisconsin. Seventh in the class is entry 51, and is exhibited by Blake, Carolyn, and Bo Teal of Morrison, Tennessee. Placing eighth, entry 52, exhibited by Cheyenne Hartzell of Daleville, Indiana. Placing ninth is entry number 54, and it's exhibited by T. Alt, B. Murphy, and A. N. G. Wright of Daleville, Indiana. Congratulations. The rules of the All-American Jersey shows require that professional pictures of all class winners and also all second place animals taken in the current show season be sent directly to the Jersey Journal in time for the January publication deadline of December 1. If you have any questions about the picture policy, visit with the Director of Communications, Kim Billman, ringside or after the show. If you know a friend back home who's just dying to see the show, you can tell them to log on to the North American's website at www.livestockexpo.org and select Freedom Hall West Ring for live streaming video of today's All-American Jersey Junior Jersey Show. You can also follow the show on the Jersey Journal Facebook page. Complete class results will be posted throughout the show at usjersey.com. If you visited the new and improved, or have you visited the new and improved usjerseyjournal.com website, be sure to log on and see photos of results as they are posted this weekend.
This show was just the start of Junior Day for Jersey youth here at the North American. Join us tonight at 7 for the 65th Pot of Gold sale in the West Hall sale arena. Every consignment to the sale is genotyped, and what a tremendous offering this is. Buyers can only be between the ages of 7 and 20 on January 1 of 2022, and will have the opportunity to compete in the Pot of Gold production contest in 2025. The Pot of Gold sale is presented by Land Lakes Animal Milk Solutions. Stop by the Pot of Gold sale lineup near the U.S. Jersey booth, and we will see you at 7 in the West Hall. Tomorrow morning at 10.30 at the Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive, the U.S. Jersey Organization will host the Youth Awards Ceremony, recognizes more than 40 youth from across the country. During the ceremony, more than $65,000 in scholarships and national awards to Jersey youth will be awarded, plus another $13,050 for the Pot of Gold production contest. New this year is a public speaking contest for youth at the All-American. It will be held tomorrow, Saturday at 2 p.m. in West Hall Sail Arena. It's called Give Us Your 60 Second Intro and is open to all youth under 21 years of age. The idea of the program, in, less, in two minutes or less, tell us all about yourself, introduce yourself, tell where you're from, why you're in Louisville and your favorite part of the dairy industry. Everyone that participates will receive a gift card. The top three in each division will receive a cash award, and the top two overall winners will receive an additional cash prize. You can sign up at the Jersey booth today and up until 15 minutes prior to the con beginning of the contest. We will have three divisions. Each participant will enter the All-American Sail Ring and take the microphone deliver their best to deliver their best introduction come and join in the fun shorthorn entry 64 shorthorn entry 64 the makeup ring, please. Placing first in the summer junior yearling heifer class in the 
Milking Shorthorn shows entry number 59. That's Brightside Pac-Man Parade E, exhibited by Mason Garrett of Crescent, Oklahoma. And second in the class, entry number 57, Classic Creek DSNY Snoop, exhibited by Caroline Allen of Virginis, Vermont. Not a large class here for the summer yearlings, but four really good quality heifers in this class. And I think this first heifer is the most correct of the bunch. Uh, she's not the largest heifer in the class, but when you get uh, down over top of her, she does the smoothest blending up through her shoulders. She's just correctly made all the way through and handles herself a little nicer on her rear legs. I like the set to the side and also the width that she has from the rear view. Um, over the July heifer here the second. I did put the July heifer up in here. I think she follows the same pattern as far as her style. Uh, the kind of heifer that she is is the heifer that I'm starting with. Um, and, and she's just a tad bit more feminine through her head and neck, a little bit nicer as far as how that, that blends out through. I, I told this youngster here on the third heifer that uh, she's the kind of heifer in this class that either needs to go first or third, she's just a bit different. I didn't want to split up the two heifers that are one and two. And uh, I do like the body capacity, the overall length. This heifer in third is a really extremely long heifer from end to end, but she doesn't track quite as nicely on her, on her rear legs and isn't quite as clean up through her head and neck today as the, the pair in the top of the class. But she does overwhelm the heifer in fourth and her correctness out over her rump structure and just a lot more drop to her rib, a lot more overall length and stretch. But four nice, again, quality heifers in this class. Placing third in the summer junior yearling heifer class in the junior milking shorthorn shows entry number 60, exhibited by Tristan Upchurch of Hebron, Illinois. Fourth in the class, entry number 58, exhibited by Wyatt Chambers of Turnbridge, Vermont. Congratulations. Milking Shorthorn winter yearling heifers should be in the makeup ring. The All-American Junior Jersey Show depends upon a lot the generous support of many dairy companies and Jersey breeders. We'd like to take a few minutes right now to recognize this year's major sponsors. Thank you to Land of Lakes Animal Milk Solutions, which is the major sponsor of Junior Jersey Day here at the North American. That support includes the Navy shirts that the, every junior exhibitor is wearing today. Special thank you to purchasers and consigners at the National Heifer Sale held in Portland, Oregon this past summer. 10% of the proceeds from this animal sale or annual sale goes to the support of AJCA youth development activities. This year, the National Heifer Sale generated more than $20,000 for support of National Jersey youth programs. Always important to the All-American Junior Jersey Show is the contribution from the Morris E. Corps Jersey Youth Fund. Maury was one of the first, or was the first coordinator of the All-American Jersey Show and Sale when it was revived in 1958. Maury retired as Executive Secretary of your Jersey Association in 1993. When asked to recount the high points of his career, Mr. Corr invariably mentioned the Jersey Youth Program. 
When he retired, the Morris E. Core Jersey Youth Fund was created in his honor. If you haven't contributed your support for our junior activities through a contribution to the Core Jersey Youth Fund, now's the time to do it. Talk to any member of AJCA or NAJ staff to make your donation. The North American International Livestock Exposition is proud to offer additional prize money to our grand and junior champion winners for all our junior shows. For each breed, the grand champion of the junior show receives a $500 cash award. The North American International Livestock Exposition is proud to offer this premium to provide more dollars to our junior shows. The North American is proud to offer another opportunity for our junior exhibitors this year. On Friday at 5 p.m., we will hold our Junior Exhibitors Dairy Supreme Champion Show. Juniors who had the winning breed junior champion will compete for a $500 cash award and banner, plus the recognition of having the Supreme Champion Heifer. In addition, a reserve Supreme Champion Heifer will be picked and awarded $250. Juniors who had the winning breed grand champion will compete for a $2,000 cash award and banner plus a recognition of having the supreme champion cow of the junior dairy show. In addition, a reserve supreme champion cow will be picked and awarded $500. It's a pleasure for the North American to provide this special opportunity to recognize the outstanding dairy cattle and the exhibitors who exhibit here. We hope you all will plan to be here in Freedom Hall on Friday at approximately 5 p.m. for the junior supreme show.
Placing first in the spring yearling heifer class in the junior milking shorthorn show is entry number 68. That's Halpin's Rockstar Dixie, exhibited by Colt or Owen Halpin of Buckingham, Illinois. And second in the class is entry number 65, Heavenly Waffles, exhibited by Madison and Kaylee Ryder of Worthington, Massachusetts. A tremendously styled heifer here at the top of the class for the spring yearling. Um, short horns out here. This heifer just really does command the, your attention in this class. She's very correctly made all the way through and has that show presence out here uh, and has the advantage over the second heifer in just total length, stretch, and uh, femininity. The, the way she blends from her neck into her shoulders today is just a little bit more correct. Um, and she also tracks out a smidge more correctly on the uh, the side view set to her hawk, she's just a little straighter in the hawk. An extremely wide heifer here coming in second. You do admire that width and strength that she has, and this heifer's got loads and loads of body capacity um, and, and does even have a, a bit of advantage over the heifer in first in that total width. It is that width and, and actually just her overall cleanliness that gets her over the next heifer coming out in line. Uh, she just kind of overwhelms her in there on her body capacities. Third, third over fourth, um, just a heifer that has the tail set a little more neatly between her pins. I prefer her as far as her uh, bone quality is just a bit, a really nice long stretchy heifer here in fourth. And you like the way she, um, she as far as her overall total length, but just want to change the way that rump and tail setting sets in a bit. But a really nice class of heifers all the way down. Placing third in the spring yearling heifer class in junior milk and shorthorn show is entry number 62, exhibited by Blake Caroline and Bo Teal of Morrison, Tennessee. Fourth place, entry number 63, exhibited by Sophie Franklin of Waddy, Kentucky. Placing fifth is entry number 66, exhibited by Isaac and Grace DeBusk of Riceville, Indiana. Placing six, entry number 67, shown by Rick Hesslinger, and Dalton Freeman, and Brock Hoskins of Stephenville, Texas. Seventh in the class, entry 61, shown by Levi Scott of West Union, Ohio. Congratulations.
placing first in the winter yearling heifer class in the junior milk and shorthorn show is entry number 70. That's Krause's Money Sadia, exhibited by Rick Hesslinger of Como, Texas. Second entry number 71, Heavenly Ice Pop, exhibited by Sarah Hill of Bristol, Vermont. In the winter yearling class, it wasn't quite as easy to line up. We have four really nice heifers out here in this class. It's not a huge class, but there's not like that that heifer that just uh, immediately floated to the top for me, but the longer they're out here, the more happy I am with the heifer that I got there finally. Uh, this heifer that I'm starting with, when you get her in the lineup, she's a, I like the, the, the overall correctness that she has through her foot and leg and a heifer that is so extremely feminine all the way through. And a heifer that has balance. I really like uh, the, the length that she has. This heifer in second is so overwhelming and powerful in, in that, uh, spring a rib, depth of rib, and heart area, that she kind of gives up a little bit of, a, of the length that you'd like to see go along with that. Uh, doesn't, doesn't have quite the overall style that we have in the heifer in first. And the heifer in first is also a better legged heifer. When you get behind her, she's a bit wider at the hock and a little nicer on the way she sets her foot down in the, the depth of heel. Second over third is a heifer that's a little more feminine and clean up through her head and neck, maybe just a bit nicer in her bone quality or flatness of bone all the way through, but a good solid heifer in third. You like the overall length of it. It's probably one that's gonna mature into a nice cow as you go. Third heifer over the fourth heifer, mainly on her legs. She just walks so much more correctly on her rear legs, more with the hock, keeps them underneath of her a little bit better. But you don't, uh, we'll give femininity. I like the heifer that's in fourth as far as her dareness and her angularity today. Placing third in the winter yearling heifer show in the junior milking shorthorn show is entry number 72, exhibited by Colt or Owen Halpin of Buckingham, Illinois. Fourth in the class is number 73, exhibited by Kyle Bonavita of Me Shopping, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. All first and seconds in the previous heifer classes in the Junior Milking Shorthorn Show should be in the makeup ring ready to show for junior champion. Junior Milking Shorthorn Exhibitors, Junior Milking Shorthorn Exhibitors, your best bred and known class will be a lead out class. Please take note.
junior milking shorthorn exhibitors, I would advise you that upon completion of the classes, we will have junior showmanship, and that showmanship will begin with the senior division leading off first. Again, junior shorthorn exhibitors, I would remind you that the best bred and owned is a lead out class. Best bred and owned is a lead out class for our junior milking shorthorns. Placing first in the Paul Yearling Heifer class in the Milking Shorthorn Show is entry number 75. That's Halpin's Rockstar Mysterious, exhibited by Owen or Colt Halpin of Buckingham, Illinois. And second is entry number 78, Brightside Lot Sriracha EXP, exhibited by Kaylin McDaniel of Perkins, Oklahoma. 
These fall yearlings, a pair of nice heifers at the top of this class. This first red heifer doesn't always want to show herself off to her best advantage, but when uh, you get to really breaking her down part for part, she's a heifer that's more correct, particularly back through her rear legs. I like the way she sets her feet down a little bit nicer, and she just overpowers this heifer in second and her overall length and stretch. This second heifer has that eye appeal, though you really do admire her for her style, and she's a heifer that definitely is cleaner through her head and neck and a lot more stylish going right into her shoulder today, but I just want to see a little bit more correctness um, in that foot and leg to get her up to the top of the class. A heifer in third that you love, that she's springing. She looks like a heifer that ought to be in the fall yearling class. Um, she got a, a, does have some advantage in maturity look and I would grant her that advantage over the heifer in second. But the heifer in second is harder over her top line particularly, um, and also is a little less set to her leg than the big red heifer in third. But those first three heifers just kind of overpower the next pair of heifers as far as their depth of rib. Uh, when you get into the fourth and fifth hole, those heifers are close for me. The fourth heifer is a little bit more feminine up their front end, uh, but that fifth heifer is a little stronger made heifer all the way through. But a nice group of fall yearlings for the milking shorthorn class. Placing third in fall yearling heifer class in the junior milking shorthorn shows entry 77, and that's exhibited by, or leased by Justin Brandle and owned by Minna Schmidt of Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Fourth in the class is entry 76, exhibited by Elise Mercer of Bryant, Indiana. Placing fifth was 74 and was exhibited by Kayla Godwin of Daleville, Indiana. Congratulations. What a beautiful class uh, for Madison and myself to start with here this morning. The spring calves in our junior jersey show just tremendous quality from top to bottom. But for Madison and I, these first pair of heifers really sorted themselves to the top of the class today. You love that overall substance with power, capacity, size and scale, length of frame. Two beautifully balanced heifers. For us, our calf moving out in first, this lighter colored calf, just moves a little more freely, a little more desirable set to that leg as she travels around the ring over an extremely capacious open ribbed heifer in second. Taking nothing away from our heifer in second, that same similar length and width all the way through that frame. And it's that length and width through that frame that gives her an advantage over our uh, third prize heifer. For us, she's just a little longer from nose to tail. She's a calf that's a little fuller up through that crop region for us today. She's also a heifer, when you get her into line, she just holds her loin together a little harder for us today. But this black calf, when she's on the move, she stuns you. You love that balance and that style. She just gets a little bit settled out when she gets herself into line. Third over fourth, it's that style and substance that gives her an advantage over our fourth prize calf. When you get behind her, she just got so much more spring to that rear flank for us today, so much more capacity to that rear rib for us today. 
fourth over fifth, a heifer that just uses a little more width and substance up through that front end. She's a, got a little more rise and extension up and fullness up through the top of that chine. She's a calf that's just got a little more cow power up through that front end for us today, having more width through her chest floor, more depth through her heart region. But again, another tremendous class from top to bottom. Placings in the All-American Junior Jersey Show Class 2 Spring Heifer Calves. First is entry number 53. That's Z-Class Frothy Cappuccino exhibited by Mason Zimba of Durhamville, New York. Second, entry number 50, Freedom Lane Kid Rock Goldie E.T. exhibited by Lauren Albright of Willard, Ohio. Third in the class was entry number 31 was exhibited by Reagan Prize of Maynard, Iowa. Placing fourth, number 42, exhibited by Aubrey Hager of Scotland, Texas. Fifth in the class was entry number 15, was exhibited by Rhea Miller of Osgood, Indiana. Placing six, number 26, shown by Lillian Finke of London, Ohio. Seventh in the class was entry number 43, exhibited by Robert Nagel of Hilton, New York. Eighth place, number 39, shown by Kaylee Knapp of uh, Franklin, Pennsylvania. Ninth in the class was entry 55 and was exhibited, exhibited by Daniel Yorton of Linkwood, Maryland. Placing 10th, entry 17, shown by Alex Anderson or Alexa Anderson of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Class two spring heifer calves in the Junior Jersey Show was sponsored by the All-American uh, All Junior Show was sponsored by the Pennsylvania Jersey Cattle Association. Our thanks and appreciation to those fine folks. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize the sponsors of a number of special awards being presented throughout the All-American Junior Jersey Show here today. Each class winner in today's Junior Jersey Show receives a lighted LED stocking cap presented by Gen X Cooperative of Shawano, Wisconsin. Vinyl display banners are being presented to every class for the best animal bred and owned by the dis exhibitor and it's presented by Dutch Hollow Farm, LLC, Shodak Landing, New York. Jersey winter heifer calves to the makeup ring, please. Jersey winter heifer calves to the makeup ring.
Here are some activities that will be taking place on Saturday, November the 5th. The use of the award ceremony will be at 10.30 a.m. in the Hilton Garden Inn Airport. Give us your 60 seconds public speaking it will be at 2 p.m. in the West Hall Sale Arena. The 70th All-American Jersey Sale begins at 3 p.m. in West Hall Sale Arena in Room B. And you can join us for a wine and cheese social at 2 p.m. in the sale arena. On Sunday, the All-American Jersey Heifer Show will begin at 7.30 a.m. here in Freedom Hall, followed by the National Jersey Jug Futurity Show with the festivities and introductions beginning at 2 p.m. also here in Freedom Hall. They will compete for a total prize money of $9,440 with a check of at least $1,450 to be awarded to the winner. Michael Duckett, Rudolph, Wisconsin, will be the judge, and Evan Creek, Hagerstown, Maryland, associate. Well, we had a really nice heifer show out here, and I want to thank all of these exhibitors for bringing out such great quality and being such a wonderful uh, youth to work with. So let's give them a big round of applause. I appreciate being here. I appreciate seeing these kind of heifers. I think uh, you can maybe see from what I have out, uh, have pulled out that. Uh, I like heifers that are very correctly made, particularly correctly made back through the foot and leg. Uh, and with that in mind, we have our winter calf, a uh, calf that just uh, probably grabbed my attention from the minute she hit the ring and didn't stop and still hasn't stopped. She's a heifer that's really complete out here. And then uh, the uh, short age fall calf, extremely dairy heifer, a heifer that just again has that. Uh, overall correctness, the angularity that you really love. Um, the spring yearling, another heifer that uh, when she was out here in class, I think just handily won the class. She just uh, a heifer that doesn't have a whole lot you'd change about her. And a winter yearling that uh, again took a little while to grow on me, but uh, when you really start analyzing this heifer, there's just not much you'd change about her. So. I'm really happy with these four, not to take anything away from the group that's over against the rail, because there's some good heifers over there, and they all ought to be proud of the heifers that they brought out. So I'm going to go out and tap out uh, the junior champion, reserve junior champion, and honorable mention in that uh, order. If you give them a big round of applause, and I'll talk about them a little bit later. From the time this winter calf hit the ring to right now, she just never misses a beat. She just uh, is telling everybody in the whole crowd that she needs to be junior champion. She shows herself off every minute of every day that she's out here. And I have her that uh, uh, just has that show presence. Not to take anything away from this spring yearling, I think she's a big rig and you really love the length and stretch of that heifer. And I'd be pretty proud to have that heifer if she was mine. But uh, this heifer is just a complete deal. Never, never see a hole in her. So that pair of heifers though, I'm really happy with. I think they fit really handily together for champion and reserve. When you get down into the honorable mention, there's just a little more strength in that pair of heifers. Uh, probably just a bit tighter knit through the shoulder today than the, uh, than the short age fall calf that I really, really admire. And I think is going to continue to uh, grow and mature the right way. 
And then I think this heifer here does definitely need to be recognized as the winner yearling. So congratulations. Give him one last round of applause. I appreciate the heifers that you brought out. Congratulations to the junior champion of the 2022 North American International Livestock Exposition Junior Milking Shorthorn Show, entry number 34, Lazy M. Lars Game Time EXP, exhibited by Matthew and Randy Winch of Fenimore, Wisconsin. And congratulations to the reserve junior champion, Entry number 68. That's Halpin's Rockstar Dixie, exhibited by Colt and Owen Halpin of Buckingham, Illinois. Ready now for best bred and owned in our junior milking shorthorn show. Bring those animals on in, please. Best bred and owned in the Junior Milking Shorthorn Show.
We have a best spread known here, so we're going to uh, talk about these just a little bit. But they sort themselves out pretty logically with this uh, champion heifer, reserve champion heifer that uh, is going to be our best bred known. And then we had a second prize, uh, I believe, spring calf that, uh, or no, winter calf, third prize, spring calf. Yeah, I'll get them here. Pretty nice calf. I remember her in class. And she, I think logically fits in that second hole with a little bit more overall correctness than, a, than the roan heifer that'll be third in this best bred known class. Congratulations to the best bred known of the 2022 North American International Livestock Exposition Junior Milking Shorthorn Show, entry number 68. That's your reserve junior champion. That's Halpin's Rockstar Dixie, exhibited by Colt and Owen Halpin of Birmingham, uh, Becky, uh, Buckingham, Illinois. Ready now for our showmanship competition. We'll be starting with senior division. Those senior division show persons, bring them on in the ring, please. Our senior division showmanship will be followed with the intermediates and then with the junior showmanship exhibitors.
a really nice group of senior uh, showmanship for senior showmanship out here. I think uh, I pulled out my couple young ladies here that I think sorted themselves out. There's some reasons that uh, that I've t talked to the exhibitors about, but the young lady that's uh, winning the class just has been spot on, and she's been spot on all day. So I, I do have a little bit of an advantage maybe sometimes when we do showmanship last, because I've seen how they handle all of their classes, but she keeps that heifer together. Her legs are always underneath of her. She touches her down in the appropriate spots um, and probably keeps that heifer moving at the right easy pace more, more easily than anybody else out in the class. The young lady in second is a little bit harder to pull out uh, one for second, but uh, I like the way she holds throat. I also uh, like the way she moves with that heifer. She maybe is not quite as good at getting that heifer's top line uh, together as the young lady that's went in the class, but all fine showmen out here. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Ready now for intermediate showmanship, please. Intermediate contestants in the junior cooking short horn showmanship class. Holstein exhibitors, Holstein junior exhibitors, it's 30 minutes until your show begins. You'll be showing on your left as you enter Freedom Hall. 30 minutes.
Would Kelly Epperly or someone on behalf of her come to the Jersey Show ring for our award presentation? Placing second in the senior showmanship class in the junior milking shorthorn show is Cheyenne Anders of Danville, Ohio. And placing first was Mason Garrett of Crescent, Oklahoma. Congratulations.
We had a really great class at Intermediate Showmanship, and I uh, only had to pull out a couple, but I did pull out three out here. I did ask them all a quick question, and maybe that helped me uh, sort them right at the top, but all three of these young men that uh, I've pulled out here for recognition just have done an outstanding job with these animals. You can just tell they know how to get my attention. They know how to show that animal off. They move with their animals well. They never missed a beat all day. Uh, so I think it's really close between all three of them, but uh, they all uh, think probably have a pretty good idea of how to uh, wheel some good ones out here. Congratulations, give them all a big round of applause. Junior Holstein exhibitors, Junior Holstein exhibitors, it's 15 minutes until your show begins. 15 minutes. Now competing for the Junior Showmanship Award in our Junior Milking Shorthorn Show. Second place in the Intermediate Showmanship class in the Junior Milk and Shorthorn Show goes to Matthew Winch, second place from Fenimore, Wisconsin, and first place Sutton Paulson of Rockford, Illinois. Congratulations.
Holstein exhibitors, junior Holstein exhibitors, it's 10 minutes until your show begins. I would remind you that all Holstein exhibitors, the maximum allowable top line hair is not to exceed one and one half inches. Exhibitors will be required to comply with this rule. The Holstein entries will all be measured for top line weight or top line height as they come to the makeup ring. Again, Holstein Junior Exhibitors, the maximum allowable top hair, top line hair is not to exceed one and a half inches. Be measured as you enter the makeup ring.
Junior Holstein exhibitors, it's five minutes until your show begins. Five minutes. First class should be in the makeup ring ready to show. Again, a reminder to all Holstein exhibitors, the maximum allowable top hair line or top line hair is not to exceed one and a half inches. Exhibitors will be required to comply with this rule. The Holstein entries will be all be measured for top line height as they come into the makeup ring. The girls have made a comeback in the uh, junior showmanship. I don't believe they allowed any boys in this ring. Uh, but these three young ladies that I pulled out are the ones that I thought needed special uh, recognition in this class. This first young lady has done a nice job with this heifer all day long, moves really correctly with her, um, knows what I, I wanted to know, and, and just I, I like the way she presents this animal. She's a little more relaxed with her arm than the next young lady, and I told her that probably there may be some other uh, judges out there that like her little bit more tense, intense uh, posture, but I just prefer the little bit more relaxed uh, uh, young lady that's in the, in the first hole today, but both of these two young ladies have done an outstanding job. The young lady here in third that I brought in does a great job. She left the heifer get a little bit stretched out. That's the only thing that I wanted to change about her, but she's really quick about getting her set up. Does a really good job with the tension out here, so congratulations, let's give them a round of applause. Our thanks and appreciation to Sherry Smith for judging our North American International Livestock Exposition Junior Milking Shorthorn Show. Thanks to all you young breeders and exhibitors, you junior exhibitors and breeders, for an outstanding show. We look forward to seeing you right back here next year.